Now you're very welcome back to the show. It is a great time of the year to get out in the fresh air, maybe walk by yourself or with the family indeed. Now, if you have a child or children, but they have a fear of dogs, well, a fear not here because uh, <laughs> we're going to sort you out today. Dog behaviors, Nancy Creedon is with us. And I suppose, Nancy, if you do get spooked by a dog at a very early age, it can really turn kids off animals. They yeah. can get very nervous. And the thing is, I mean, there's no point in us saying to the kids, oh, don't be afraid because they do. They're big yeah. teeth. They can knock you over. Dogs can be very scary to kids. So instead of teaching kids, you know, don't do this and don't do that around the, around the dogs. What I like to do is empower kids a little bit yeah. and tell them, look, if you get a fright, this is what you want to do. If you want to say hello to a dog, this, this is, is what, what you, you do. do. And give them something to follow. So they've instructions to follow through and kids are good at following yeah. instructions. You know, the reality is the adults really, the rest of us don't know how to approach a dog because I'd naturally go up or I wouldn't, if you know what I mean, the mm -hmm. case may be, but if I knew a dog and I'd pat the dog on the head, yeah. that's not what you're supposed to do. It's a big one. Everyone does that. They'll go and reach over the dog's head and dogs generally don't like that. Okay, because so, it's kind of threatening, is it? To reach over their head. They don't know what you're doing, they want to see what's in your hand um, and, and it's out of their control whereas at least if you put your hand down low, some people have that, some people do know offer the dog your hand first of all but then if you do want to pet the dog I always say you scratch him on the chest or with kids they can scratch the dog on the back but okay. it's less of a startling stuff And should you go head. down to their level, we always hear this about down to level when it comes with to animals. With adults, so with adults I tell I them be bend down, down, bend down and the first and foremost thing is let the dog come to you. So you bend down and let the he's dog come to you. Guinness, he's isn't gorgeous. This is Guinness. Yeah. So he's with, a baby, this fella, I believe. He's only about eight or nine months, and he's going to be a bit bigger, but already yeah. he's playing with three year olds. He's interacting with children, which is really important from the dog owner's point of view, too, that the dogs get used to it when they're kids, but that it's calm. So if you teach the kids what to do, the dogs then will follow suit and see it's not crazy play when we're together. It's calm, it's controlled, and everybody's happy. Okay, so petting number one, don't march over. Anyway, you shouldn't probably just go over to no. a dog you don't know anyway. What I say is, here in Ireland, we've gotten better at getting kids kids to ask their parents, can I pet that yeah. dog or asking ask the, the dog people, owner. Yeah. But I say to kids, you've got to ask the dog. Mm. So instead of saying, yeah, you're allowed to rub the dog and going over and grabbing the dog, we have a little game that we teach kids and we'll do a little demo in a minute called Pat, Pet, Pause. Right. Where they pat their legs, then they can pet the dog for a few seconds and then they pause. And if the dog wants them to continue petting, the dog will show them. If the dog doesn't, yeah. then they have to stop. Because we should say, dogs Goodness. are like people. They've got, all got different personalities. Some are more nervous than others, so we got to respect that too. Yeah. Okay, we have Molly O'Donoghue with us and she is going to go through all the different kind of... Yeah. I suppose do's and don'ts, or Donovan, I should and say. And it's games, it's yeah. games. When it's with kids, it's games. So the first thing we're going to do is the Hi, pat, pet, pause. So Molly can pat her legs and call Guinness over and see if he wants to interact. So he's obsessed with the treats now, so we know that. But if Molly Guinness. wants to... And then she can pet him on the back and pause and stop. So if he wants her to pet her again, he'll let her know. He didn't, he wasn't interested, okay. so he moved One away. One treat to Molly and <laughs> he'll be over in a heartbeat. Exactly, but the point here is that she's not overwhelming him. No. She's not following him, saying, I want to rub you, I want to interact yeah. with you, and the dog's saying, leave me alone. And I suppose it's we should say one the thing, dog. the worst thing you could ever do, because I remember this happened to me at a, a kid's birthday once with my dog. The kids were pulling her tail. Yeah. And they can snap. Yeah. And it's like, don't pull the tail, don't pull the tail. Instead of saying, don't pull the tail, we say, rub them on the back. Yeah, give this them an alternative. Like, just rub them okay. on the back. And the pet and the pause means that you're pausing, the dog has the choice. Okay. So as you said, pat your knees, is it, Molly? Yep. What then? Um, call you call over. their name. Yep. Yeah. And then pat them on the back of the chest. Yep. And then how do you know if he wants to keep being rubbed? And um, he'll come over. Yeah. yeah and so you pause, pause and he decides. Perfect. Okay, now there's something to do with the tree concept. Okay. Explain this to <laughs> I us. love this one. So the be a tree, again, is fun. It's so much fun, especially if you have a group of kids. It's teaching the kids when they hear be a tree, or if they get a fright from the dog, they have to quickly be a tree. And what it does is it tells them what to do instead of what not to do. So me and Molly will do a little demo. So if she gets a fright from Guinness, say if she has a toy and does a little squeak, and it might get him inter interested in it. So you can do a squeak. And he gets excited, so what you want to do is plant your roots, so you're like a tree, so you're planting your roots, Legs together, you're watching them grow, so you're watching your roots, you drop your leaves, so anything in your hand gets dropped, you plant, or you, you branch your roots, or sorry, plant your roots, watch them grow, drop your leaves, intertwine your branches, and be silent like a tree. So Molly's already doing it spot on, but what we're doing here is she's not running away, so she's not getting chased. She's not screaming, so she's not getting chased. She doesn't have ice cream in her hand, so she's not getting yeah. chased. But she's looking down, so you shouldn't eyeball the dog. Exactly, and, it, and it's again, you don't say, don't stare at the dog. Watch your roots grow, okay. so therefore they're not thinking about that, they're just thinking about their roots, but they're not interacting with the dog. Okay. They're totally ignoring the dog. Plant her roots, watch them grow, drop her leaves, 
fold her branches and silent like a tree. So be calm and everything will just relax. So if a dog is excitable, they'll calm down because you've calmed down. Two things, if the dog feels a little bit threatened, you're straight away saying to the dog, I'm not a threat. Yeah. If the dog's excited because you're great fun, you're straight away, you're being boring. So the dog will go off and do something okay. else. Are you, are you scared of dogs or are you ever scared of dogs, Molly? No. No, you're good. You've been around dogs, of course, all your life. Molly's a 17-year-old King yeah. Charles. Oh my God. Well, that's so. an amazing Molly's fact grown up in itself dogs. that King Charles is 17 years old. Exactly. It's quite amazing, isn't I know. it? It's good going. Um, what do you think yourself, just this is a different subject altogether, but are big dogs good for kids? If you have children that are very active and jumping and play and messing. Obviously, when you're bigger, you're sturdier. You're less likely to yeah. feel like you're going to be broken. One of the big studies that's come out recently is more so to do with arthritis. So when mm. their dogs are getting old, they're a little bit more feeble, and then they're going to be a little bit more nervous around kids as well so if your dog is pushing on a little bit and the kids are a little bit rambunctious manage that play a little bit more and again when it comes to bigger dogs they're more sturdy they're less yeah. fragile and they know it so the little guys might feel a little bit yeah, more nervous. yeah you need to be careful especially with little chihuahuas and things like that yeah. and kids jumping around molly thank you very much for coming in to us thanks to guinness as well a gorgeous rothweiler he's about nine months old so he's uh, he's going to be a sturdy guy so boy. take home tips of course again you've got a pet uh, pat, pat, pet, pet paws. paws. That's yep. of course that, pet, and they just act like a tree. Of course, um, keep uh, basically all to your hands to the chest, and back down, and be like a tree. Look down, stay calm at that position for a little while, and everything will be just fine. That's the Thanks very much, Nancy.